Hey, and welcome back to the Nerd Galaxy. Uh, we're here playing. I'm here. Well, we are here. Valentine Skeleton is back, everybody. Yes, that sentence was grammarly correct. I am back, and I'm finally making Tommy sit through a horror game with me. I'm gonna leave the room a couple times. Probably. No, you won't. Not if I let you. you. Don't you mean don't let me? Yeah, sure. Go with that. Yeah. I can talk correctly, too. Exactly. Alright, so here's I the... <laughs> I th 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 the funny thing is, this episode yeah. is going to go up before the episode of us discussing it for in Cult of the Lamb. Oh, is <laughs> Yeah, because that doesn't happen until, like, our third set, or fourth session. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm only, like, doing it on our second session so far. I think I'm only... No, it's, so that's three sessions. Uh, it happened on our third session, but I, we're only on episode four, and it happened on, like, four, episode five, six, or seven. It happened in one of those episodes. Yeah. So... Those so will not want to be up yet by so, the time this comes up. Yeah, so then people are going to be confused about us talking about it literally after we have played it. Alright, so here's the rundown. This is Indigo Park. This is an indie horror game. I've been watching the development of it. I've been very excited about it. And the first chapter came out. I watched the creator uh, do a commentary playthrough of it. So I know what happens. But the thing is, is that Tommy doesn't know what's going to happen. So I get to watch his reaction when shit goes down. So the plot of the game is is that you are some person who's obsessed with this theme park, but the theme park closed for like 30 years ago, and you decided for whatever damn reason to go and explore the park after it's been run down. I'm so glad there's a behind to this couch, because I might be back there a little bit. How are you going to fit behind this couch? There is like a lot of room back there. So that I have the mic, because I have the mic stand back there. Uh-huh, alright, we're gonna start now. New game. What does that say? I can't read it, but I'm not wearing my glasses. You really should have worn your glasses. Shut it's, up. It's asking if you are you sure, because yes. you'll overwrite... What? All, you're, you'll overwrite your previous save data. Do you have previous save data on this? No. Then why is it asking that? I don't know. Why do games do that? I know games that, you know, you have save data in do that, but... Indigo Park. Indigo Park. Definitely not a rip off of Disney. Actually, I, I think it's a rip off of a different park. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a. There's a. I don't know. Uh, I, I, you've never watched The Funk Land, so. No, I have no idea what that is. Uh, so he's a YouTuber. He does. He does. Uh, he goes over defunct. Uh, theme parks or uh, theme park rides. Oh fuck, this guy got three computer screens. He's a gamer. You know one of them is only just for Discord. Yeah. Yeah. I like how one is like vertical, vertical. while the rest is horizontal. My dad's computers were like that too. He had like one in the middle that was horizontal and then the two were vertical and I'm like, Dad, why? Yeah, because they don't really make things for your computer to be vertical. Yeah, I don't get that. If somebody in the comments knows why people do that, please let me know. It baffles me. Yeah. And if it's a good idea, maybe I'll do it when I finally get multiple monitors set up. So, te so I technically have multiple monitors to set up, and that's how I'm doing this. While well, I can also see my recording software on the other screen. Well, but one of them is just a TV. Yeah, one's a TV, and then like three feet to the right of that TV is your computer screen. Yeah. I I cannot wait to play this. So the majority of this is going to be pretty cutesy, and it doesn't get like scary to like the very end of this chapter. It's just mostly of like ex exploration, pretty much. Cool. That's when yeah. I'll dive behind this couch. Yeah. So we're here. I like how it's it's giving you the uh, the ways of doing it if you were playing on a keyboard, even though you are using a controller. Oh no, no, the controls are inverted. No, no. <laughs> Hit the start button. Yeah. Uh, options. Uh, controls. L. Yeah. Uh. There we go. Okay. Uh, control stick. Xbox. Yes. Uh. Invert sticks. On. Oh no, that's invert sticks. So that that's telling you which one is uh, which one you want to use the walking and which one you want to use the camera for. Oh. 
So the PlayStation Switch. I could have brought my Switch controller for this. I'm... Yeah. Huh. I don't know. Uh... We're just using a third party controller because that's what I have. Well, maybe if I sub like Switch. Yes. What, what are you? No, no, don't no, quit, no, don't quit no, the game. no, 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 I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to. <laughs> okay, hold on. So, what, what were you trying to do? You were trying to invert the camera? No, I was trying to unvert the camera. And it's still inverted. Yeah, go back to those options. You you were on the thing. I was confused why you were just... Here, doing... you do it! <laughs> oh my gosh. So much for me not playing this game. I guess you're not I... playing it, you're just setting it up so I can. Controls. It was the vertical access. Yeah. Apply, change settings. And then back to the game. And resume. There, is that better? Well, let's see. Yes. 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 So this, this game's default setting is to have it inverted? That's weird. A lot of games have it inverted for some damn reason, and I hate it. Yeah, I, I'm actually someone who plays inverted, and I'm used to actually just going in and switching. That's why I knew what to do. Because I, I play inverted for camera Inver controls. I play with inverted uh, vertical camera controls. Okay, there's like a side entrance around here? You Are you sure you don't need any glasses? Because it was literally right in front of you. Oh, shut up. I'll be fine. That's a ticket booth. Yeah, that's very bright. Jeez. It's realistic. Yeah, if it was realistic, now, the guy wouldn't be staring into it. He'd just be like, oh, gosh. Now, I may or may not was only paying half attention to when I was watching the playthrough. Because I was working on your thumbnails. Oh, yeah, the cult of the lamb. Yeah. Oh. Which means I'm also... Hi, ah! and welcome to Indigo Park! Family, I love you! The world's most innovative and engaging family fun Look experience. Jump into the world of your favorite character. <laughs> Wait! You're our first guest in 2,920 days, 4 hours, 23 minutes, and 38 seconds. Congratulations! Why are they keeping track of that? Because they never turn him off. And it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is the most fun it can be. Just hop on over to the registration center to your left. <laughs> he could tell us is he an AI? He's an AI! Press E to interact. Oh, yeah, tell me where's the E on this thing. Uh. It... Well, okay, that turns it off. That turns off. Okay, uh, oh, uh, uh, chair. Oh, okay, so it's X. Hi, I'm Rambly, Rambly the Raccoon, and it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is <laughs> 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 register. Let me just get a good look at this. Yes, look at my face. Look no. at my beautiful face. You seem to have your face in our guest list. Is this your first time here at the park? I like how you said this would be cutesy, and it's already just like nighttime rundown park. He is cutesy. Look yes, at him. Yes, he is cutesy. The rest around him is definitely not. What are you talking about? This is the cutest environment I've ever been to. Do you see these cobwebs? Whoa, okay, the camera suddenly turned around. Yeah, look at that fire hazard, too. What fire hazard? On the ground. What are you talking about? All those wires hooked what, up? What are you talking about? That what, is... that, this looks perfectly safe to me. Oh my gosh. I, I mean, look at that poster of... of, of I believe that's Molly. Yeah, that says Molly McCall on there. Look look at the, the adorable colors on the walls. You know, the faded, <laughs> adorable colors of the scratched up walls. Yeah, it looks great. Like you can see some rebar. Yeah, it looks great. Is that not the door? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to what they said. No, that goes outside. Yeah, that goes outside. Did he not just say go on? Why isn't the door opening? Yeah, was... Hold up. Maybe. Oh, I bet I have to turn the power on. I bet that's what it is. Oh. Because, do you see the cord? Well, yeah, I see the cord, but... Oh! I have to come back here. That's what was up. What's the hold up? The gate is open. Head on into the Yeah, entryway. the gate's totally open. Hmm, hold oh. on. My mistake. The gate is not open. See? There seems to be an error message being sent on the gate's power unit. Lucky you! You get to be the first person to You get to do the very first the fetch quest of this game. Adventure. Yay, fetch oh, quest. Fetch quest. What shift? Oh, oh, look at that. Look at this. Oh, it's a little plushy. Yeah. Take it to the information kiosk. 
I didn't know you had to collect those. There's one right in front oh, of you as well. Oh, yeah, you're right. There is one right here. Cause, like, oh, I look didn't... at this one. Oh, I don't think you can take that one. Yeah, oh, you, you can. Because ah! I saw that one when we first came out. I was just like, oh. I didn't. <laughs> I did see that Lionel one, though. Yeah, next time we get you to play a game, make sure you bring your glasses. Oh, shut up. It's fine. Uh, the power unit is right here. Yes. So. No, that's not interacting with it. Okay, there's another cord coming from it. Oh, no, no, that's just mind. the same cord. I thought it was going a different direction. Uh, maybe now that door will open back there. Can you run? Oh, yeah, you can run. Yeah, they said hit shift. Oh, yes. The word shift <laughs> on this third person third fucking party. controller. Third party controller. The indigo violet compact power generator. But it seems to be in It also seems to be very it's small like for a uh, Can you find theme it? park. It also seems very exposed. Okay, so uh, we're missing a gear. Yeah. Hey, look, another <gasps> really? flush. Oh, I want this to be real. I bet there is a real one out there. Okay, so... so we're looking we, for a gear. We're looking for a gear. Well, what does that lever gear? do? The, I think the gear turns it on. I don't know. Oh, I don't know about hit the you, lever. but a lever means turn on. Okay. So yeah. yeah. No, it ain't Just going down. It, you always have to make sure. Pull the lever. You're dead. Wrong lever. Wrong, Wrong lever crunk! Oh, that's gonna be so loud on the audio. Where the fuck is this gear? Oh! Hey, look, there ah, it is! Ah! Gear! Man, it's so great that we're letting the blind person play this game. Shut up! I am not blind! I. Uh, well, you didn't pull the lever! Oh, you're right. Though I'm still very confused on why that door shut. Me too. Oh, fun, fun fact about this game that I saw. So you see the hand there? That's supposed to be, like, attached to a game, to, like, the, uh... It's, yeah, it's not. It's just floating there. It's just, yeah, it's just a pair of floating arms. That's all you are in this game. Yes. That's how a lot of these first-person games operate. Is it? I always thought that there, there was... Okay. Welcome to Indigo Park. No, I... I thought that it would always be, like, an actual avatar that you're playing. Because of, like, cutscenes and such. No, that uh, a lot of games, yes, they will have it, but... What about those times where you look into a mirror and you see your character interacting with it? So, yes, when you, when you see that, that is the case. That, yes, you do have an actual avatar. Oh, okay. But a lot of these low-budget games, oh, it's yeah, not low worth <gasps> making it. More plushies! I have to break this window. I actually I really love... I love that blood, bird plushie. I would, I would actually buy that. The Molly one? That, is that the... That's... The name of the bird? I'm pretty sure that's her name. Yeah. I think her name is like Molly McCaw. Oh. I want the lion. And I want Rambly. Nah, I want the bird. I want Rambly. Oh, you know, I have to use this sign to break the window. It's all mine! Look, I, I, as someone who is in housekeeping and works with those signs, it would never break that glass in a million years. <laughs> I could try. You would, you would break the sign far before you break the glass. You could use that bench, though. Oh, look, there's a Molly! Hey, there is one! Molly! So how long until they uh do you think until they market this uh they make marketable things from this game for kids? I think they already did. Yeah, exactly. Well, here's the thing. I definitely know that there are rip rip offs. Oh, silly Rambly. Every oh. guest needs a critter cup. That will allow you There's access a camera. to certain areas. There is a camera. Charge payments to your room and wear a critter cup. I think there's some in the gift shop. Uh. Get in there and I'll get you set up. Oh! Oh! We can go in here! We oh can steal God. so much! I don't know. There's a sentient <laughs> AI around <laughs> here. <laughs> I don't really want to steal things. Yeah, it's just <laughs> grab shit. Well, we're already grabbing <laughs> shit. Yeah, but that's that's stuff that's also, not in the gift card. Heart monitor, and moon ring. Data disclosure agreement included. Why can't I move this way? Uh, don't you see the arrows on the ground? I see the arrows on the ground, but I don't know why then it's go not. Go the other way. way. This makes no sense. Why couldn't I? I can't move this over here. Yeah, gotta go around. Gotta what go around. Fuck. Ah, yes. Now and I can. This can't. game is teaching you proper store etiquette. I can't move forward. <laughs> Give me the wristband. 
It's proper store. Oh, now I can move forward. Yeah, she Wait, can... can I can I move this way? Now? I can move this way now. Yeah, it's probably just an invisible wall. Yeah. The the arrows really should have started at the door, so you. I bet not... you that these are actual t-shirts. Oh. Uh oh, the door mysteriously locked. Why not test out oh, your no. brand and see? It's the, the AI takeover. No, it's. We're all doomed. God, I bet you you could buy these shirts for real. This looks like like real shit. I mean. Um, How those look where? like real uh, models. Yeah. Right there. Oh, here we go. Cool. Hooray! Great work, buddy. But yeah, it's very, it's very weird how often you know adventure. horror gets or like things that are definitely not for kids gets marketed to kids. Oh, absolutely. Oh, you want to know something fucked up that? It's like there's there's this whole ho has been hotel shit that's going on right now, with uh, so children have been watching has been hotel, and so at MomoCon where they had the voice actors at a panelist, a nine year old walked up and then asked Blake the the voice actor of Angel Dust, was he embarrassed to <laughs> record the sex scenes, and that sex tape, and. Obviously, they didn't answer the question. Blake literally said, where are your parents? Yeah. Because she was nine. Yeah. And she pointed them out, and then he said, shame on you to the parents. Yeah. People. All because something Hang is... Hang turn in... back to that. Turn back to what? The... The cinema machine? Oh, my gosh. Does that say bird up? <gasps> bird up! <laughs> burr, burr, burr. How do you know that? Uh, from... Oh, God, there's this video of... Yeah, Terminal uh, Montage. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. I didn't know you watched his stuff. I love Legend of Zelda, so yeah, I would watch his stuff. Oh. Oh, no. Anyway, back onto the subject at hand. This isn't the first instance of, like, a child was watching Hasbun Hotel and made it a parent. So, there was another video that came out before MomoCon began... And, uh, it was a talent show or something happening at a school setting. It was happening in, like, a school's, uh, gym or whatever. And there were these two kids dressed up as Angel does, walking and strutting around to poison. And I'm like... Yeah. You're... Pardon our dust, buddy. Looks like the Listen, I don't know how old those specific kids animations. were in there, okay? But they could have been 15, really which is the age... Set to the episodes, but the problem is, is that the episode where poison is happening yourself. in the show, that episode is rated 18. There's no way those two were 18 years old. I I'm sorry. Listen, listen, parents, kids, listen up. All because something is animated, and because it's a musical. It most definitely does not mean that it's meant for kids. Yeah, this is something... You're preaching to, like, a quiet... Like, there are... The people who don't understand that are never going to be the people who are watching this stuff online. Exactly. No, they let their kids have uncontrollable access to the internet and then kids learn shit that they shouldn't have learned at that yeah. moment. Now listen, the kids are not at fault. I yeah, want to no. say that. Yeah, The kids, obviously. not at fault. Parents, absolutely. Okay. And I, and I, so you you were talking. So even though it's rated eighteen, yeah. uh, if, if parents are in the room, yeah. I don't see the problem with a fifteen year old seeing watching that episode of Has Been Hotel. A fifteen year old? No, I see no problem. A nine year old. Nine however, year old is way too young. Way too young. There's literally a scene where Angel's being forced to suck off another demon. Yeah. Like, sure, you don't see dicks or anything, but his mouth absolutely went where his dick is. Yeah. Look like, at this, this... Look at this train. And there's a thing, like, you know... Okay, where? which way is forward? Uh, uh, I don't know. Fade to the black. The oh, I think we're looking forward. Are we? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, wait, towards the engine. The caboose is the back. I'm, I'm... Are we looking forward? We're looking forward. Welcome to Ramley's Railroad. I'm conducting. Hey! Oh, ah, ah! Ah, look at this little cute hat. Something like this, like something like this specifically, I could definitely see kids playing this. But um, 
not a nine-year-old. No, like I would register this as also at fifteen because of like, what was that? Uh, that was Molly McCall. What the fuck? I never seen that before. There's a door. That door just opened. Yeah, that's these kind of games will watch you for uh, for playing them multiple times and looking behind you. Oh my god. Well, you're not gonna like what I'm gonna do soon. Because I know a secret in this specific set. Oh my god. Yeah, my heart is starting to beat faster though. <laughs> <laughs> be afraid. Be very afraid. Oh gosh. No, not this one. This is it. Hi! Derpy sea serpent! Look at him! He's so derpy! And body. Like his eyes look like You know me for 100 years? How old is this raccoon in the lore of this of this game? Yeah, how old is the raccoon? I don't know, but the serpent just said they've known each other for a hundred years. Mm. How about you come into it instead? My ride, Oceanic Odyssey, will teach you all about so small. down under the deep blue sea. I don't know. You think we should just do this all in one episode? Because we're at 20 minute mark. I, it's up to you, man. This is your YouTube channel. I yeah, I know, but I feel like this isn't a really good spot, place to stop. Well, if you think this is a good place to stop, we can stop now, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize you could pause it. I felt like this was a cutscene. No, no, no. I'm able to move around. So, uh, today's let. What did we learn today, kids? Uh, don't watch Hasman Hotel if you're younger than 15. And most definitely, if you are below the age of 15, Go up to the voice actors and ask them about the sex scenes that they have filmed. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, like, there's, definitely well, a, there's definitely a thing in this country where we teach kids about biology way too late. But, like, that does not mean let your kids watch, like, extremely graphic content on the internet. Like South Park. Kids should definitely not be watching South Park. Oh, yeah, that, no, don't. Kids, go watch Bluey. Go yes. watch Bluey. Just go, go watch, watch Bluey. Bluey. I like Bluey. Bluey is awesome. I'm not a fan of Bluey, but I know that it's good. So go watch Bluey. Have you ever seen an episode? I have, yes. I've oh. watched several. It's just not my thing. Oh, no. Watch My Little Pony. That's my thing. Specifically Gen 4. Don't watch Gen 5. Goodbye. See ya.